Okay, we're continuing examples of percentage applications. Problems in the real world that involve percentages. And this one involves the spread of a disease. 12% of the people exposed to this particular virus become ill. And a town of 17,400 people has been exposed to the virus. So how many people are expected to become ill? This is certainly the kind of thing you would want to be able to calculate. If you're an epidemiologist or if you simply live in the town, or if you're a doctor in the town, you would want to know how many people are likely to become ill in this particular case. So the calculation in, in this case is pretty easy. 12% of the people exposed, and there are 17,400 people exposed. So we just have to calculate 12% of 17,400, and that's 0.12 times 17,400. And we just do the math, it comes out to 2,088. Now this problem follows right along from the last one. The hospitals in a town have a total of 2,200 beds. If 2,088 of them are occupied, what percentage of the beds are occupied? Well, we can do this with a simple fraction. There are 2,088 out of 2,200 beds, and we can just divide that, and that comes out to 0.949, and that's equivalent to 94.9 percent. So most of the beds are occupied in this particular case. Now I'll go ahead and set up the percent proportion in this case and show you that it gives exactly the same answer. We know the amount and the base. There are 2,088 out of 2,200. So the amount is 2,088 and the total there is 2,200. And the rate is what we're looking for and the percent proportion says A over B equals the rate over 100. So let's just put in those numbers. 2,088 over 2,200 equals R over 100. And then to solve for R, we multiply both sides by 100. And that causes the 100s to cancel out over on the right. And you see our calculation now for R. R is the only thing remaining on the right side, and it equals this. 2,088 divided by 2,200, that's that fraction, and that's the calculation we did right there. And then we multiply by 100. That moves this decimal point two places to the right in this number to give us this answer of 94.9%. So setting up the percent proportion always works and always gives you the right answer. In some cases, though, it's easier just to go straight to a simple fraction or a simple multiplication. In this problem, we're told that the price of a gallon of milk was $2.92 last year, and it's $3.06 this year. And that's fairly typical. Most of the time, prices rise, which is equivalent to saying that the value of the money gradually decreases. That's called inflation, inflation of the money. Actually, inflation in the total amount of the money is what causes the value of each one to decrease. So prices end up rising as a result of the inflation. So And, it, and it's often measured in percentages. You look in the, the newspaper or the news and they talk about the inflation rate as a percentage. And that's what we're trying to find in this case. What was the percentage increase in the price? What an economist would call the inflation rate. Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a percent. So what we need to do is figure out how much the price went up. And so we'll subtract. We'll take the $3.06 and subtract the $2.92. What I'm doing is taking this year's price and subtracting last year's price and that will give me the amount that the price went up and that comes out to 14 cents. So the price went up by 14 cents. So I need to ask 14 cents is what percentage of the original price? And I can do that by just dividing 0.14 by 2.92. 2.92 was the original price and 0.14 divided by that will be the percentage. 14 divided by 2.92 comes out to 0.0479. And so as a percentage, that would be 
4.79%. We just move this decimal two places to the right. And again, we could set this up with a proportion. We could say A, B, and R. R, in this case, is the percentage rate, what we're looking for. And 0.14 and 2.92. 0.14 is the amount that much out of that total. The price went up this much compared to that original price. And so I set up A over B equals R over 100. And that calculation becomes 0.14 over 2.92 equals R over 100. And you see the calculation here, 0.14 over 2.92 is the same calculation we were doing up there. And then to solve for R, we end up multiplying by 100, which just moves our decimal point to the right to give us this final answer. We're told to round to the nearest tenth of a percent, so I actually need to not make that my final answer. The final answer to the question would be 4.8 percent.